Earlier today, I went over to GameStop and I got some pretty cool figures. All of them are inside of this bag. And oh, I also want to let you guys know that we should be having a special guest coming on later this episode. And now let's start with the first thing that I picked up, which is actually we're starting off pretty strong today because inside of my pre-order drawer, there was another Care Bear, but not a normal one. It is the Chase True Heart Bear. I'm glad I didn't pick this one up when I originally saw it over at the store because this Chase really does look amazing. Actually, very similar to the one that I got a little a while ago, which I believe was Carolot Bear. It's kind of like an opaque color as well as a bunch of glitter. It looks really well done. Also, I talked about this last time, but with most of the Care Bears that Funko releases, they give them another version, which is like a chase or an exclusive one. And those are the figures that I'm trying to go for, not just the normal ones. And then everybody, the next thing that I got was actually a pre-order. So it wasn't at the back of the store. It's too bad because I would have loved to have shown off more of them if they had them, but I was able to get these here, some of the pop trading cards. I've talked about this before, but my brother is a big Big fan of the Pelicans, so whenever they make a character like Zion here, I try to pick him up. And this thing really does look amazing because I believe this is supposed to be based on, I think it's, yeah, Panini at the bottom here. It's actually like Panini trading cards that they blew up and put on the back here. And so I have a feeling that there's a lot of people that are probably looking for these ones. And if you're maybe a fan of Panini, you'd want to pick these up. And I didn't just get one of them. I was also, oh, it fell over, was able to get this one here, which is Steph Curry. And this thing looks amazing, especially because it looks like he's dunking in the figure. Or at least jumping to take a shot very similar to the back card there. And if you guys want to see the opposite side, here is what it's looking like. And so I gotta say some pretty interesting stuff coming out from Funko over here, especially with these larger cards. I did not expect them to make like trading card ones and I'm hoping that they do make more in the future. Maybe some Pokemon? I would love it. And I do remember when they first announced they were making these larger cards with the backing. Some people had made concept arts of them and they did look pretty good, especially that Pikachu one that I saw. And if I can find a photo, it should be on the screen now. And then everybody, the last thing that I picked up over at the store was a soda. They only had one of them left, otherwise I would have gotten more, but it was She-Hulk. Take a look. And so because I've only got one left, let's just... <gasps> I think he's here. You know, Trevor, I'm gonna be honest, it took you a little while to get here. <sighs> <laughs> that was a long walk from New York. You walked? Well, yeah, how else was I gonna get here? Huh? I guess. I think you brought some of the stuff that you were supposed to give me at New York Comic Con. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I put it in a box and then I just yeah brought it over to you. Well, I guess tracking did say it was coming today, so I guess that yeah. makes sense. Cool. All right. Should we get into this? Oh, right. Now, actually, hold on. Before we get into this anymore, we should probably tell everybody who you are and why you're here with these figures. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's probably a little bit better that way. Sure, sure. So for anybody who doesn't know, you actually sculpt figures over at NECA. Right? Uh, yeah, occasionally, yes. Okay, so we've got stuff like this, and I believe, actually I said sculpt because this is one that I believe you did sculpt. I, yeah, I was one of the sculptors on this Donatello. That's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's... It looks amazing. Oh, thank you. And now this isn't the only figure you've worked on. I also have a couple others here, like, I believe these are the Napoleon and Atla, I think it is. How do you pronounce that one? <laughs> it's Attila. Attila! Oh, <laughs> shoot. Oh. As you can see, you know a lot more about these than I do. I don't know yeah. why, I didn't even read it. Uh, yeah, are... I guess it is Attila. Yeah. yeah, these are the punk frogs. There are, oh. two, there are two of the punk frogs. There are four punk frogs all together. Have you guys done all four of them? Yeah, we made all four. Ooh, um, yeah, there's Napoleon, Attila, Genghis, and Rasputin. Oh, I see them here on the back. They've got like so. weapons too. I think one of them yeah. has a battle axe. Yeah, is that Gen what it is? Genghis has a battle axe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, here's a question that I've been wanting to ask you. Is there something on here that maybe not everybody would know about these figures here, but something that like you did while making them? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so I was, I was the art director on like most of the turtles figures okay. uh, my friend josh was the sculptor um but when we get into like little accessories and stuff here um like the photos that are in the photo album like those are all toys from like my collection i would just take oh wow an actual photo with my phone and uh you know so all like little bits of artwork on the accessories sometimes like i don't want to bug the painters or the sculptors right. doing the little nonsense pieces so i like doing like I like doing that stuff. And then I also grabbed this one here. I don't know if there's anything special going on with this one. I kind of knew that that one was on the figure. Yeah. But for this here, I found this one in my collection. I thought you might want to talk about it, maybe if there is anything or I don't oh. know in general. Yeah, this, um, at a time, this was the, other than, you know, the quarter scale figures, this yeah. was the biggest, the biggest figure for a while of the, like the six, the six inch, like seven inch uh, cartoon figures. Hmm. Uh, this is the Colossal Chrome Dome. Fun fact, he's actually, in, in the cartoon, he's in like two episodes, and there, he has like a weak spot on the back of his, like, oh. he's like made of adamantium or something, hmm. which, you know, normally you think like, 
Wolverine's claw. Right. And all that like stuff. indestructible. Yeah, yeah. He's like this indestructible thing. But yeah, he's he's got like a adamantium panel or hatch or something on his back. Oh yeah, I see it here. With its impenetrable adamantium skin, Shredder designed the colossal chrome dome to be utterly invincible. There you have it. Hey, yeah. kind of cool. Heard it here first. Alrighty, so here is the box of stuff, and I believe inside of here, if I can remember, because it's been a little while since New York Comic Con. It was a long walk. There should be, <laughs> definitely was a long walk. Yeah. There should be some E.T. figures inside of here. There are. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I'm looking at probably about six of them right now. So I guess we could just kind of go through these if you want to like touch upon them a little bit oh, or maybe sure. just talk about the line in general. Yeah. Uh, E.T., it's the 40th anniversary this year. Neat. Um, or is it next year? I think it's, I think it's this year. It was year. this year because Funko yeah. also made some E.T. pops this year, so I'm sure it's, That's right. it's somewhere it's, around it's, here. It's now. Yes, it's yes. Um, yeah, these figures, uh, we made some E.T. figures probably for like the 35th anniversary oh, a few okay. years ago. These ones, it's like all new packaging, there's new accessories, uh, yeah, it's just like a bunch of cool new E.T. stuff. That's really neat. Yeah. I, I've actually really been excited about these coming in. Yeah. It's, it's actually nice that they're finally here because I can put them with my other figures. The one here, I know that you said that there's something, there's more like more deluxe about them. Like you've added more stuff to them. Yeah, we make these uh, ultimate figures. So um, years ago we started doing that and it's, instead of just the figure with one or two accessories, we try to like just add tons of stuff. Like right, all right. the little details from the movie and like extra hands. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff. I think Adrian sculpted these. Yeah. Adri oh, yeah. No. Shout out to Adrian. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marty and Tom, Anthony worked on. Yeah, all it's uh, all the the regular NECA crew. That is also but, something that I'm sorry to cut you off there, no, but I do find kind of interesting how many people actually go into one figure. I would assume it's, it's just like maybe one or two people no, right, like to color and sculpt. Maybe, it, no, no, it it depends. Um, there could be three, four, five people right. working on one figure. You know, sometimes like you'd work on an arm or mm -hmm. a piece of armor hmm. or something, and then someone else would be you know working on the hands that you know, doing a head sculpt or, you know, right. so everyone, you break up a figure over like many people. That's um, cool. And then I also kind of wanted to talk about the light up ET because isn't there some special stuff with this? This is the first time we made a light up ET. Oh. Um, this one's like, you know, the deluxe ultimate hmm. figure. Um, and then the, the uh, ET phone home, like all the, all these accessories are all a hundred percent brand new. Like this is the stuff we wanted to make years ago. We never had a chance to, so it's, Super cool that we finally got to do like this deluxe one with all the light up features, the phone, just all, this is this is all the bells and whistles in here. It's, yeah. Yeah, this one's super cool. For sure. Yeah. And now guys, you might think that this is all of the E.T. figures that we've got, but I've actually got one more of them here. This one is Elliot and E.T. with the bicycle. I believe the biggest one out of the set, or at least the biggest box. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big sure. display piece. Yeah, the, I like it a lot. The bike and everything. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's these really are cool. cool. And now, Trevor, I kind of remember there being something mm. about like an Alf in here too. There was an Alf at one point. Maybe. Wait, did uh, I drop it on the Teppan Z Bridge or something? Oh, maybe. Uh -oh. What happened to it? Um, I don't. I don't did know. Did somebody say Alf? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Alf, no, we weren't talking about you. I very much heard my name. Well, we were talking about your new NECA figure. Oh, you mean this thing? Oh, oh, there it is. Ow. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? I mean, yeah, it's kind of neat, but you didn't have to be here for this. I mean, we could have just talked about it without you. Well, who else is going to be here? It's me, after all. Well, I, I guess it is kind of like a first here. We've got a, someone who's actually worked on NECA figures as well as the person they sculpted after. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it is pretty cool. Now, Trevor, I guess, do you have anything to say about this one before Alf interrupts us you know, too much here? <laughs> uh, I'm... I had nothing to do with that figure. My friend Tom, like, kind of did everything. I just, right. I am a huge Alf fan, so I'm just <laughs> starstruck seeing, like, yeah, I, I finally know. seeing the figure in person, and 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 then Alf. It's Tom a, sounds like a pretty good dude. It's a, <laughs> Tom, oh, he's he's a, he's a great guy, that Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now inside of here i'm noticing that there is a lot of amazing i guess like accessories that come along with you yeah. alf as well like the popcorn bowl we've got the is it pronounced fuzzco fusco i always forget the soda uh, f-u-s-c-o it's the, yeah it's named after the creator alf i think it's oh, fusco okay that makes yeah, sense Paul fusco. yeah it's really neat then we've also got like the hands in here as well as his radio that he tried to talk to everybody from malmac with yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty cool and now alf i noticed that there's also some quotes on here like oh look someone with taste would you say that this is probably like a good gift maybe for the holiday season oh certainly anyone who wants an elf thing would love this figure 
Well, it definitely looks like it. It says, uh, me shill for my own products, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Oh, oh, okay. Did you actually write the quotes for the box? Uh, no, I can't take credit for that. Oh, spare some change for a reboot? Oh, hey. Ooh, reboot. Not, <laughs> not a bad idea. And then I also noticed on the inside here, Trevor, I don't know if you saw this or maybe you did when, you know, somebody was sculpting it. Yeah. There's actually a cat sandwich yeah. on the inside. Uh, Ooh. no, 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 no. Oh. oh. And well, Trevor, I guess now with Elf gone, I gotta say thank you so much for bringing over the figures. I, I know it was a long walk, but they made it here. Very long, yeah. Yeah. But uh, you're welcome. And I guess you got to see a celebrity, which was kind of cool. He doesn't come out very often, I know, no. so. Yeah, that was... It, I'm ecstatic. I saw Elf. <laughs> I met the real Elf. It's incredible. I know. It is. Wow. <laughs> it is, we couldn't it is even good. get him at NECA. But no. You, you had him here. Well, I think he kind of lives around here now because oh. of the amount of... Like, he's really trying to get a reboot. So, like, the amount of products that we've been showing off recently has really been getting the spirits up, I think. Yeah. Uh, he also might have a ship crashed in the backyard, something like that. So. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, Trevor, it was a lot of fun having you on the channel. And also, I didn't talk about this earlier, but Trevor actually got me a Christmas gift, which was pretty amazing. And I got to show you guys what it is, because on the front here, it says, Meet Mr. Product, the art of the advertising character. And inside of here is a bunch of pages of different ad icons. And on the back, here it says meet Mr. Product, meet Chiquita, Tony the Tiger, Elsie the Cow, and a hundred more well-known and not so well-known personalities in this colorful celebration of history and art of advertising characters. And you guys can see there's already some interesting ones going on in the back here. And then when you open it up, there's just some amazing stuff going on. And let me just flip to some random page to show you guys what they've got. Like this is definitely interesting. Like, what is this one here? Doggy Diner Restaurant Detail of Hot Dog Wrapper. Like there is just some interesting things and not even just like ad icons on the outside like on billboards and stuff like that they might have just been from like local or smaller businesses and they happen to have it on like i don't know maybe like it said they're the hot dog wrapper or the bag of popcorn or like on a t-shirt or something and like take a look at this page we've got the donkey donut head and it's actually kind of like a mr potato ad i don't know it's really cool and trevor thank you so much for the gift and so now let's get back into the soda because i am super excited to see if we're going to be getting that she hulk chase and actually before we do that I did want to show you while I was over at the mall I was able to go over to showcase and they had one of this one left I heard it was coming to Canada and I was able to get one it is the brand new Looney Tunes Yosemite Sam as Black Knight and I'm gonna be honest I don't really remember this episode so I'm gonna have to do some digging to see what's up with it but also on the side here it seems like they've given this a brand new Looney Tunes box so maybe there's some more coming soon actually wasn't there just an announcement for like the Warner Brothers 100th anniversary so maybe that's what they're doing and I don't know if they're gonna be giving it a hundred anniversary box or it's going to look something like this but whatever it is i'm excited about that okay so now everybody let's get into she hulk and i hope with all of this build up we are going to be getting a chase today or at least fingers crossed come on come on come on please be the metallic version it is i think it is is it um it's kind of hard to tell it might be metallic Ooh. I don't think so. I mean, just from looking at it, guys, it seems like the normal version, but I guess I could take a look. Ah, uh, no, this is just the normal She-Hulk. Ah, I tried. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow.